In recent times, here in the UK, there has been a huge increase in the number of buzzards. We see them and enjoy them on most days, but usually from a distance. They tend to be rather shy birds and difficult to approach for photography purposes. Would they make good subjects for camera trapping? Well, there's only one way to find out. Good to see you again. Welcome back to another video. I uh, hope you're all keeping well. Um, back out again with a camera trap today. Uh, in a recent video, for those of you who may have seen it, uh, you may remember that I was a bit undecided whether to go for buzzards or for the foxes at night. And uh, in the end, I went for the foxes. Um, I, I just managed to get one image after an awful lot of trouble. But um, anyway, today I've got a bit of a, a dead rabbit I picked up off the road and um, I thought every video I put out up to now has, has been, you know, about nocturnal animals. So I thought, right, today I'm going to set it up for the buzzards. So uh, hopefully they'll come down for this, this little bit of rabbit. So uh, I'm going to set it up just near to this old bit of gnarly wood. Uh, I thought it might, might make a nice backdrop. So uh, I'll get everything set up, and once I'm set up, I'll, I'll explain what all the settings are about. Okay, see you in a minute. Well, there we go, all set up. I've got the uh, camera set to aperture priority. I'm on ISO 250 at F10. And uh, I've also dialed in uh, 1.7, uh, minus 1.7 on the exposure compensation as well. So I just want to keep the ambient light down a little bit and just have a little bit of fill from the flash just to illuminate it and hopefully that'll work. I've got a main flash off to the right, uh, sorry to the left of the camera over there. That's set on 1 8th power and I've got, I've got a small a fill flash down here set on 1 16th power, half the power and uh, it's probably about the same distance away so it'll just add, add as a, add, uh, it'll just add a little fill light hopefully fill in the shadows a little bit so there we are it's uh, it's up to the birds now let's hope we get uh, we get a visit from the buzzard over the weekend and keep our fingers crossed that the farm dog doesn't turn up in half an hour's time and take the rabbit home with him <laughs> that's a chance you have to take we'll see Okay. Oh, 
Right, well, here we are back after the weekend. And I can hear the sheep. I think one of the first things you, you want to see when you're returning back to your camera trap is to see that it's still there. Which it is. Now the next thing I'd like to see is that the, uh, the sheep haven't been over the weekend and, and trashed all my equipment. Well, the dog's just walked through the through the trap and it's still firing both flashes so that's looking promising as you can see the rabbit's still here something's been having a having a little go at it not sure what um, we'll open the camera trap up and see what we've got There's the sheep, they were here when I arrived. Oh my word, there's 300 odd images. There, there we are, there's a buzzard. Looks a little bit dark, but uh, that's definitely a buzzard. Oh, very good. We've had a visit from the buzzard. I'm really struggling to see the screen. All oh, right, yeah, we've got more buzzard shots with its wings open. Oh yeah, we've got quite a quite a lot of buzzard images here. That's great. That's a sheep, I think. Yeah, <laughs> self-portrait. Okay. Well, I'll leave it there because I've still got 300, 285 images to look through. Well, that's quite promising. I've got well over 300 images uh, in the last two days, just over the weekend. I, I think by far the majority are going to be uh, sheep that have been sniffing around. But um, I'm quite pleasantly surprised, to be honest, and I'm still surprised to see the, the rabbit a lot of the rabbits still left here um, I was expecting it to be gone because um, in the past when I tried photographing buzzards over a roadkill um, once they find it it's it's not long before um, it's all gone but um, I'm also glad to see that the the cameras uh, survived the weekend from the ravages of the of the sheep so um, I can say we've got quite a few buzzard images on the on the memory card, but uh, I'll have to get them on the computer at home to see them properly with this bright sunshine. It's really difficult to see on the back of the camera um, in any detail, so uh, I'll have to get them back. But I was planning on taking it down, I thought, two days with a bit of roadkill with the buzzards, and I thought it would be gone, but seeing as it's still here, I think I'll I'll leave it out for another couple of days, I think and uh, see what else drops in, um, see if we can get any better shots or or, uh, or whether something different might pop in. So I'll leave it there now for a few days and I'll, uh, I'll catch you again soon. from the, this setup uh, the rabbit roadkill I put down is pretty much gone now it's been out for five days um, and as far as the uh, quantity of images goes I think this is the the most I've ever had from a setup I've had well in excess of uh, 600 images of their buzzard um, unfortunately most of the week 
um, it was quite bright sunshine and uh, a lot of the by far the majority of the images um, were just very contrasty uh, a little bit too contrasty if you doing it it's the same when you're out with your long lens I suppose when you get them bright contrasty days uh, you never seem to get your best shots but um, it did cloud over on occasion uh, while the buzzard was here so I did get one or two images which I was really happy with the image I had in mind when I was setting this up was for a darkish sort of low ambient light image with a little pop of flash just to highlight the bird and make it look like it was sat in a, a little pool of sunlight which on a few images I, I think I did manage to achieve and for those of you who like a little bit more of an artistic edge to your wildlife photography Here's an image that was captured at daybreak when the lens was a little bit fogged up and with a combination of a slow shutter speed and a little pop of flash it produced this rather ethereal looking image which I have to say I quite like. So oh, there you go. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel recently and um, all you people who, who comment, especially the, the regular commenters, I'd like to say a great big thank you to you. Um, your kind words and your encouragement uh, means a lot, it really does, and uh, it encourages me to, to go out and, uh, and do a bit more. So uh, I don't know what the next project's going to be, I'm going to pack all, all my stuff away now, but uh, hopefully I'll be getting out again soon and um, on, on to a new project. So. In the meantime, I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Come on then, dog. <laughs>